Hello everyone, it's Kathy with Paper Phenomenon. Yesterday when I left off, or my previous video when I left off, um, I told you all that I was going to make a storage box for my mini album, and I did. Look at how pretty. I was using my boxable boxes. Uh, this is a workshop that I'm having. For those of you who don't know, it is a 12 month long workshop. So for all 2017, every single month, you're going to get a brand new box style. You're going to get videos and a tutorial on how to make the box. So when you're making a box, you're like, well, you only get this one size, right? And that's it. Not with the Boxable Workshop. With the Boxable Workshop, you're going to get a what I call a resize sheet. All right, this particular one, you're going to get one with every every single box. So the resize sheet, it's going to show you how to make this box style in any size that you want. So here we go. I was uh, I was able to take this box style one and make a smaller version for my mini album, the one that we worked on together, right? For um for the Maddie 101. So look at how adorable I have a box that fits that my I can put my store my mini album in and how did I do that with the boxable videos guys so you're going to get 12 different box styles that you will be able to resize and I promise you you will I give you my guarantee on this if you cannot resize your box I want to see your worksheets and I need your mini album size I will resize it for you all right but you got to show me your worksheets. You got to show me that you put the work in. All right. It's very well laid out for you guys. I take you step by step by step. It's it's three sheets because I broke the sections up and I want you guys to be able to do this. And I don't want it to be so overwhelming, but to resize your box, I take you step by step by step, guys. And for this particular one, I think it's 12 steps to resize your box and you are off and running. All right. And I recorded myself resizing this one and I put and I uploaded those videos to the Boxable Workshop so you guys can see me do the math and all that good stuff. So you can see that it's doable, all right? This one is really fabulous. I did something different than the original one. I put a burlap insert here instead of just paper. So this is burlap fabric. So it looks really, really nice. Very home decor-esque, if you will. And it turned out gorgeous. And you can make this box styles and all other all of the 12 and you'll see them every month for any mini album that you have all right any size any height any depth whatever you want to call it to accommodate all of your pictures remember i said that i had too many pictures in here but i wanted them all so i'll, I'll be able to just to throw them in my box i can create an envelope and throw my envelope right in here inside my box and everything is nice and tidy perfectly stored away in this box i also give you ideas on changing this design up you know you could just put a a sentiment here you don't have to do the knobs if you don't want to but it's really fabulous it turned out gorgeous this paper that i used here is tidings by authentique if you're interested and it is just really beautiful so start making your boxable boxes guys resize them for any mini album that you have doesn't have to be a paper phenomenon mini album it could be a mini album that you made and you may not be good at making boxes so i show you step by step on how to resize the boxable style boxes i'll link you down below to the workshop guys um again 12 month long workshop so you're going to get beautiful unique boxes paper phenomenon style until next time guys